Welcome. In this video, we're going to be learning about hexa aqua ions, also known as metal aqua ions. Now, this chapter can be both easy and hard at the same time. The reason it can be easy is because all you have to do is memorize a bunch of colors and formulas. And the reason it's hard is because you have to memorize a lot of colors and formulas. With that said, let's begin. Okay, so imagine this, you have a salt of a metal, let's say aluminium chloride. You place this in a beaker of water. This breaks down into aluminium ions and chloride ions. Next, the water molecules will surround the aluminium like so, creating a complex ion in which the water molecules are bonded as ligands to the central metal ion, in this case, aluminium. By the way, it's not going to be all of the water molecules. There's still going to be lots of water floating around freely in the beaker. The complex ion on the left can also be written like this. Aluminium with six waters and then three plus. So in this chapter, we're going to learn about acidity of hexaaqua ions, comparing two plus and three plus ions, reactions with hydroxide, ammonia, and carbonate ions. So let's start with acidity. Here I have a metal hexaaqua ion. The M in the middle represents metal. You could have copper there, iron, aluminium, etc. And the charge here tells us that the metal is a three plus ion. Now, since we're going to be talking about acidity, let's draw this like so. And we're also going to show the electrons that are being shared between oxygen and hydrogen as well. Now, this metal is positive. That means it's going to have a pulling effect on all of the electrons around it, meaning these electrons get pulled towards the metal and also these electrons get pulled in as well. So let's zoom in here and see why this is acidic. So like we said, these electrons are being pulled downwards and these electrons are being pulled towards oxygen. Eventually, it's going to look something like this we can say that the bond has been polarized. Because it's been polarized, it makes it easier for the electrons to jump off and break the bond, giving us OH- and H+. So we started with this, and we ended up with this. We can write that as the following. M with six waters around it now becomes M with five waters because one of the waters has turned into an OH. Notice that the charge on the complex ion on the right has become two plus. Here's why. The metal we said was a plus three ion. We also know that hydroxide has a minus one charge. Water of course doesn't have a charge. That means in total, three plus and one minus become two plus. And also a hydrogen ion has been released. So here we can show that it's become a bronsted Lowry acid because it has donated a hydrogen ion. Okay, let's put this into practice. If you want, you can pause the video to read the question. So we're gonna start with aluminum chloride and hydrous, which looks like this. It's going to react with water to form a complex aluminum ion. Of course, we know that this means it's going to form a hexaaqua ion. Aluminum with six waters and overall charge is three plus. Because we had three chloride ions on the left, that means all three of them have been kicked out and we have three chloride ions on the right. And finally, we have to put six waters on the left because it says that it reacts with water. And the final reactant was water. We have six waters on the right, so we're going to put six waters on the left. The next part says give an equation to show how the complex ion, which is this guy, can act as a bronsted lowry acid when reacting with water. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start with the aluminum complex ion. Now we know that hexaaqua ions can act as acids. This hexaaqua ion is going to act as an acid when reacting with water. So we're going to put water here. Okay, so as for the products, we know that the aluminium hexaaqua ion is going to lose a H plus from one of its water molecules. That means we're going to have five waters and an OH. Aluminium is three plus, OH is one minus, meaning the charge becomes two plus. Since the aluminium hexaaqua ion is an acid, and the water is a base, that means the hydrogen ions are being transferred to the water, turning it from H2O to H3O+, also known as a hydroxonium ion. Okay, moving on. So here I have a metal hexaaqua ion, and here's another one. 
we can see the metal on the left is a 2 plus and the one on the right is a 3 plus ion. We want to know which one is more acidic. In other words, better at losing hydrogen ions. Are they the same or is one more acidic than the other? To make it a fair test, we'll compare iron and iron. On the left we have iron 2 plus and on the right we have iron 3 plus. So the iron 2 plus one looks like this and the iron 3 plus looks like this. Essentially they look identical. Now remember, now remember they're both acidic because they both polarize this OH bond and release a hydrogen ion. However, we know that iron 3 plus is more positive than iron 2 plus. That means it has a higher charge density. In other words, they both have the same size, but iron 3 plus is more positive given the same size. This means that it will be better at pulling the electrons towards oxygen. This greater pull has a more polarizing effect on the OH bond meaning that the hydrogen on the 3 plus will be lost much more easily compared to the 2 plus. So that means the 3 plus hexaacoion is better at losing hydrogen, so therefore it is more acidic. Okay, so we've covered acidity and we know that 3 plus hexaacoions are more acidic than 2 plus hexaacoions. Next we're going to move on to the reactions. Hey guys! If that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.